So welcome back to the Making Tracks workshop where Pete Water and the Rail Nuts are busily working away on the extensions to the Making Tracks layouts ahead of Model World Live. So for our show on April 27th and 28th, 2024 at the NEC in Birmingham, at the Making Tracks layout is going to be even bigger than it was at the 2023 Great Electric Train Show. So we thought that was a pretty big layout, 152 feet long, 14 foot wide, uh, but this time they're going for 208 feet, but that will feature over 240 feet of scenery because this isn't just a straight layout anymore now in terms of scenery, it's actually going to right around one end and then go through a third station on the back. So huge project, lots of things happening here today. Um, just to my right here we've got uh, Watford Junction all laid out coming together. Just behind that they've just started mocking up Bushy Station which is the third of the stations that are now going to feature as part of this giant layout. And then over to my left we've got the main focus of work today which is installing the new bridge for Bushy Viaduct which is the approach to Bushy Station. And then you can't quite see it but just around the corner behind all the stored boards for making tracks one, two and three is the section for Blissworth as well. So it's, it really is a hive of activity in here today. Well, I mean, the boys have built this today. I've been doing other bits and pieces, but, you know, this is magnificent. I mean, this is, you know, this is what modelling is all about, isn't it? You know, when you, you know, you've got a skewed bridge here and you've got a straight bridge here and you've got an old-fashioned bridge here was built in the 18, sort of 90s, you've got, or 1880s, 70s. You've got a brand new bridge that was built in the 1960s on the other side, totally in... In, in, you know, the opposite from what you think. And obviously most people wouldn't bother, but we've, because you come round, you can see the back of the, the bridge, we've got the 1960s bridge. In. When I came up with the idea of going round a corner, both Phil and I agreed this viaduct was crucial, the bank and the viaduct, because it is so unusual. And there are a couple of unusual features. There's still a Second World War pillbox we haven't put in yet, which we will. There's some Larson shuttering on here, which is all it all makes for detail, just makes it look a bit, bit different from just, just a bank. So you know it's like the stone, there's bricks, there's blue bricks, there's concrete. It's just you know it's, it's just an amazing sort of visual thing, and it's 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 different, and of course it's four track, so it, it's. And you can see why we, we've already lined the track up to go on it. But, you know, the urgent part now is to get this painted, get it in so that we can solder the joints here. We need this, we need to... As, the ironic thing is, once we've done this, we need to drop this quite quickly because we need that board putting on the end of these boards so that we can st start to lay the track for... Uh, bushy station and get us into the fiddle yard. So, you know, I've literally, well, we've planned that by a week today, this will all, all the track will be in up to the, up to the, you know, up to the fiddle yards. And then it's about building the platforms and uh, Phil's still got to do them. But hopefully by seven days from now, we'll have what looks like the whole layout. There'll be no detail on it, but the track will be down, the balance will be down, and we'll be able to start then thinking how it works as a jigsaw. Because you've you've got three pieces now. You've got a piece over there which is Blissworth, which goes north of Milton Keynes. You've got this and this which is south of Milton Keynes. You've got this which is south now of Watford Junction, and you, you're starting to head north. And you, you until you actually join them up. It doesn't work. You, you mentally, you, you've got to you literally get that bit set. Then it gets the next bit set. That gets your next station set. We've got that station set. Once all the platforms and the tracks are down, the great thing about Bushy Station is very little buildings on it. It's, it really is quite sparse. 
but it is quite interesting because it's got some uniquely silly long platforms. Well, this is the end of the day. This is 208 feet. So this is 208 feet from rugby. So <laughs> you can't go any further than, than this. And this get, gave us you know, the, the, the desired effect to go to 208 feet. But more important, rather than just go to 208 feet, we wanted to go around the corner for something we'd never done before and make, because think about it, you've got 208 feet front, you've got 208 feet back. Now, everybody knows it's been seen making tracks. We have eight track fiddle yards. So we've got 208 feet eight times. Now, I know we've got a lot of stock, and I know even we, you know, we you guys bring in the stock, we don't want 208 feet eight times. I mean, that's just too much. It's just, that's silly proportions. So I thought, well, it would be nice, literally, to, to go around the corner and have three stations, because then we could start operating it properly, because the London Midland trains or the West Midlands trains or London Northwestern trains, whatever you want to call them, they actually stop both at Bushy and at Watford Junction and at Milton Keynes. So for the first time, we'll be able to run some four car and eight cars to Northampton, but we'll have to run some four and eight tracks on the fast up to Liverpool and Birmingham. I love Blissworth. It's, it's fascinated me from even the 50s because it, it's, it's quite a, a weird place because, you know, you're going down the West Coast you lose the Northampton line at, at uh, Killsby, and then suddenly you come into this sharp bend, and you come down to this what was a station. You know, when I when I first started travelling, um, you, you know, you went through Blissworth. One way that you could get, you know, it went off to Toaster, and the other way it went to Northampton. So there was this weird junction. And, you know, you could still see the trains pull into Blissworth platform to join up with the, with the main line. I mean, now that's deciding we've built where's your stone yard. Oh, this, this is, this is, it's, it's a model in itself. You know, you've got the road underneath, you've got the arches. This is what model railway is all about. This is, this is interesting and, you know, building all the rest. But when you get a structure like this, yeah, you can't, I mean, I can't praise Phil, Phil Eiley enough for this. And it also is like, for people watching this video at home and they go, well, you know, you'd like one of them. Yeah, yeah, we'd all like one of them. But this is called Bespoke Railways. And, you know, this is where, where everybody sort of has got to understand that, you know, to do this, You've either got to have all the equipment, which isn't cheap, or have the skill of fill, which isn't cheap. You know, so you can have anything you want if you pay for it. You know, or you form a group like ours where you've got talented people that can do this uh, and make it all work for you. I mean, you, you, can you, I could, I, you couldn't scratch me on this. It, if you could, it'd take you best part of six months. This is taking about five and a half hours. And it's taken five and a half hours by Phil, who built it. So, you know, if it's taken him five and a half hours and he knows where everything goes, can you imagine if you're trying to build this with the instructions in front of you? You're talking probably about eight and a half hours. So that's the advantage of doing it this way. But the product is just fantastic. It's just, you know, it's what makes making tracks different from everything else. And uh, what is really great to see, I'm starting to see other people now take a view of what modelling is all about and actually starting to do more and more of this type of stuff. So as you can imagine, we're really looking forward to seeing the full making tracks layout assembled at Model World Live on April the 27th and 28th, 2024 at the NEC in Birmingham. Now Model World Live is about much more than just model railways. We're building on the Great Electric Train Show to add in scale modelling as well. To be able to see fantastic displays of aviation, maritime, military and sci-fi modelling. Plus we've also got fantastic interactive stands, including one from Backman's Model Craft Create brand as well. Full details are available for the show at keymodelworld.com forward slash modelworldlive and you can also buy discount advanced tickets online today from the very same place. They'll save you money over on the door prices. Thank you very much for watching today. We hope you enjoyed this latest update on the making track layouts and we look forward to seeing you in April.